and welcome to the 91st edition of Beer Issues. My name is Matt Bruckert and I'm coming to you poolside and here at Casa de Bruckert where we're going to be on our quest for something different and unique for a poolside beer. So today we're going with the Tampa Bay Brewing Company Twisted Strawberry Festival which is a fruit and field beer golden ale. So I don't know. I've never had a strawberry beer before, so this should be something new. It's actually strawberry and lime, so who knows? Um, the beer is rated good. It's rated 82 out of 100. Um, I don't know about this, if this is going to be my kind of thing, so we're going to try it, see what it tastes like by the pool, and we're going to go from there, okay? Now, the beer clocks in at 5% alcohol by volume, so it's a beer that you can sit around the pool and sip and drink and enjoy, um, and it's an ale but the strawberry and the lime, that kind of confuses me. So I'm really not sure if this is gonna be something for me, but if you don't try it, you don't know, and today we're gonna to try it. Now, uh, let's go ahead and pour it. Uh, I'm gonna pour it into this beautiful mug here uh, that says Beer Issues. And then on the side, it says Coffee or Beer. So the, the great thing about that is you don't know if somebody's drinking coffee or if they're drinking beer with this mug. But actually, we're not gonna pour it into there because we pour beer into glasses which is the proper way to do it but i do like having the coffee mug that has people guessing so if you want to get that you can get that at shop.beerissues.com uh we have those mugs available or if you're local you can contact me direct and we can get you one of these beautiful mugs uh with the beer issues logo and the on this side the coffee or beer so you decide um all right so we pour the beer and look it does have like a strawberry a uh, color to it Got a nice little uh, head going there, although I didn't pour it too well to get the head, but we'll try it a little bit better to get a little bit better head on there. All right, there we go. There we go. All right, so it almost looks like a, like a mango juice or something like that in color. Well, you know, it doesn't smell too overly strawberry, which was my concern. Uh, too much artificial strawberry flavor to me is not a good thing so i don't i don't know if this beer is going to be for me but we're going to try it out see what it's like see why it's rated 82 of 100 out, uh, out of 100 is a good beer we're going to check it out the brewery makes good beer tampa bay brewing company they make a lot of good beers um so you have to check out the brewery so this is something unique and different so let's give it a shot here You know, it's not my thing, but it still tastes good. It's refreshing. I mean, I could maybe drink, you know, one of these, but it wouldn't be something that I would go out and buy again. It is um, somewhat refreshing for the type of beer it is, because I think the lime kind of cuts down on the sweetness of the strawberry, so it balances pretty well. It's a very drinkable beer. It's just, you know, not my thing. A lot of people could probably love this beer because it really is very drinkable and refreshing. Yeah, I, I, I can't say I love it, but it's very drinkable. So sitting around by the pool, this could be a beer that a lot of people might enjoy. Probably not my thing, but a lot of people will probably enjoy this beer to me it just doesn't doesn't have any wow factor it's it, the the lime cuts back on the strawberry so you really don't taste the strawberry and the lime the strawberry cuts back on the lime so you don't really don't get a strong lime flavor matter of fact it almost negates uh having a lot of flavor so um even though it's drinkable and refreshing it, there's just not a lot of uh taste to it i like beer with a you know a punch you know that's why i drink a lot of the high octane beers and the different beers that are you know a little bit bolder um, so this to me is something, uh, you know, it's certainly not going to go to waste. I'll drink it. Um, but probably not something that I, I would even for drinking by the poolside probably do again because it just doesn't have a lot of, uh, oomph to it. And I, I myself tend to like beers that are a little bit, uh, boozier and, and more full flavored, you might say. Okay. So if you enjoyed this, uh, make sure you, uh, tell your friends and they you, their friends tell their friends and their friends tell their friends until everybody knows about beer issues because we want to be worldwide. Um, if you've got a beer that you would like me to try out, um, you know, by all means, somehow get it to me or let me know about it. Send me a message. And I, I would love to try it and talk about it. And, uh, you know, so, you know, one way or another, I, I'm always willing to try new beers. 
Uh, this is a beer, first time I've ever had it. And if you don't try, you don't know. So th some things are, are good for me and some things are good for other people. Everybody has different tastes. But for me, this is something that I could drink, but not something that I would go out and get again. So uh, make sure you tell your friends. And uh, if you want cool mugs like this, the uh, beerissues.com, uh, our beer issues mug, go to shop.beerissues.com. Uh, and it also does say on the side, I don't know if you can see that, coffee or beer. Um, and you can get all kinds of cool merchandise, cool hats, things like that. So make sure you do that. And as my wife likes to say, I have beer issues.